Shalom. I want to give all praise unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Rakat the Yahweh, Rakat the Yahshai, Bashim Makar Hakadash. And we give double honors to our apostles and elders, which are the apostles and elders that rule the great millstone, to you hopeful elect on the four corners of the planet Earth that's enduring the times that we're in, and keeping faith and, hold, and, and holding on to your crown to the very end, man. That's what we're hoping for, and, and, and Abba Rathazar, we allowed to do that, man. Um, right now, this lesson came to my mind at work. I was going to do a quick uh, lesson on it, but uh, this, the, the spirit really just had it to where I, I, I mean, the, I started researching, and it started to get more than just a quick sit down that, you know, I could just put together real quick, you know, just to bring out words and certain things. But as you see the title of the video, that we are spiritual musketeers, man. All right. And I say that from the um, it's the so-called story of the three musketeers. All right. And I said that with the musketeers because they're saying, all right, because I was speaking to a brother and uh, we got into a conversation. And it just popped out, you know, because this truth, we are we are one for all and all for one. Because what are we doing? We're pushing towards one goal. What is that? The kingdom. That's why we're on the same mind. It's like we said, we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. We have the mind of Yahweh Shai in this truth, man. All right. But uh, like I said, we are spiritual musketeers. So the first thing I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into the word musketeer. All right. And it says musketeer. It says a musketeer, French musketeer, was a type of soldier. And are we not soldiers in this in this thing? You know, I'm gonna I'm pull the scripture real quick. This is the book of Second Timothy. Second Timothy two and three. Let me pull it up here. This is Second Timothy two and verse three, and it says, "Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach." So Yahweh Shah Mashiach is our general, man. Okay. And we're sent, we're soldiers in the spiritual spiritual war that we're fighting on this this uh, uh this uh this this dimension, as you may say, this this plane that we're living on, okay? And Yahweh Shah is a, is, a, is a general that fights with his soldiers, man, because he came down here and he fought for us, and he showed us the way, and he gave us the 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 guidelines and the blueprint on to follow him, man, okay? But what I just wanted to prove that that we are soldiers in this thing, okay? And a soldier is a solitary life. All right. And it says a musketeer was a type of soldier equipped with a musket. OK, what's a musket It's a firing arm. It's a weapon. OK, let's look into that word musket. It says musket is a muzzle loaded smooth bore long gun that appeared in the early 16th century Europe at first as a heavy variant of the our bus capable of penetrating heavy armor all right what what is our musket is these scriptures because that this this bible is known as what a sword it's a weapon man just like the guy said in the book of eli he said it's a weapon it's a weapon that's 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 our must that's our musket man okay that's our musket that is it, it cuts to the to the bone man just like that, the muskets go through armor. These scriptures and these words cut to the dividing of soul, man. Okay? Let's get that. Let's put it. You know, prove all things, man. It should be a beauty to go into these scriptures. This is the book of Hebrews 4 and 12, and it says, For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit 
and of the joint and marrow and is the discerner of thoughts and intent of the heart of the law. So this word that we use in because where is the word the Yahabashim al Shah in the Bible? So this is our musket. This is our weapon. Okay. And it says a musket um, equipped with a musket. All right. Musketeers were an important part of early modern armies. Just like we're important now, man. But we're the spiritual musketeers of Yahabashim al Shah, man. I just wanted to prove what a musketeer is and what so we can get understanding where that name comes from, okay? And you see here the picture of this Edomite-looking guy with a, a musket in his hand and, and, and a dome and a, and a peril of a soldier, man. But the main thing that I look for in the musketeer title is all, all for one and one for all. One for all and all for one. All right, let's learn where this phrase came from. It says, and in the, it's Latin. The word it, it's it's uh, that's the translation in English, but in Latin is uh, unes pro uh, unes pro m um, uh, pro uno. So lucky I'm not I'm not key in Latin, you know. But you know I try my best, you know, as much as the spirit gives me. It says unes pro m um, bus unes Pro uno. Anubis, yeah. Anubis pro Anubis omnes pro uno. It's Latin that means one for all and all for one. Because we're all soldiers in this thing, pushing towards that one goal, which is the establishment of the kingdom of heaven, which belongs to these Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's not coming to the world. It's coming to the elect first, and then all of Israel is going to be saved. But the most high deals in order. All right. But that's what we in this brotherhood and we're in this camp. Like the guys that fall out, they were never of this thing. They never, they never wanted, they didn't, they faltered under the uh, pressure. Because they say, I've seen a video where it says a uh, guy, he was a prepper, right? He was a real heavy prepper and he got into prepping real bad. But then uh, 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 a situation happened where they firebombed this building and the guy froze with the prepper backpack in his hand. He had the backpack, which was the bug out bag, but he curled up in a fetus position while his wife is crying and he couldn't move because he was he was struck with fear in that moment. It's not matter in the time of prepping. It's the time of execution, man. The Lord's got to give you the spirit to execute in that time. That's what we hope and we, we yearn for, because what's that time? We're prepping now, man. We're spiritually prepping. That's why it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So we're, 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 we're spiritually prepping. But when the time comes when we need to execute what we've learned in the spirit, the most I got to give you that spirit to, to, to follow through. That's why it says nothing is given but by the most high. So it don't matter how many scriptures you memorize, how many things you do. If the spirit ain't with you in that time, man. You free, you're going to lock up. In the time of Jacob's trouble, you're going to lock up, man. You're going to get weak. You're going to falter. You're going to go after that mark, man. But if the Lord is dealing with you when everything is going to accumulate to that one moment where, where, the, where the tire meets the road and it's going to move, man, that's what we hope to have, man. That's what brothers should hope and yearn for to have that spirit in that time. All right? So let's go back to this word. And it says, um, it says in meaning it, 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 in a me meaning, and this goes back to the Bohemian. Okay. But we, just like it says, you got the wicked, uh, Illuminati and then you got the righteous. All right. But, um, uh, let me go and try to figure, let me try to get this. Let me read this. And it says Switzerland had no official motto de uh, defined in its constitution or legislative documents. The phrase in its German, in ra al I can't pronounce that, so like in French, un pro tras tos pro un, Italian, uh, I can't, uh, I'm going to butcher that. It says var variant versions came into uh, widespread use in the 19th century after Ottoman storms had caused widespread floods. Autumn storms had caused widespread floods in the Swiss Alps in late September 
In early October 1968, officials launched the aid campaign under the slogan, deliberately using it to invoke a sense of duty and solidarity and national unity in the population of young nation of the of the young nation Switzerland had become a federal state in 20 years earlier. It says that's why they put this out there to to forge it. Okay, so just like now, man, we have that that all for one spirit because we're in the same spirit pushing for that goal, man. One for all and all for one. All right, and we we're going under the banner y'all by Shem Yal Shai. It's not our own power. It's not our own will. All right, but we're just been. Uh, uh, drafted, spiritually drafted into the Lord's army, man, because we have no choice. We have no choice. If your spirit was made to do the work, that's what you're going to do. You know, the, the, what does it say? The ax can't boast itself against him that hewn therewith. So you don't have a choice in this thing, man. The most I'm going to use you, just like with Noah. Noah wanted to dip off, man. Noah wanted to go do his own thing, but the Lord said, nah, I, I, I made you to do this, this job. So the Lord will put hell on you to make you do that job and to accomplish the feat. All right. So I'm going to get into the scriptures. I'm going to close on out, man. I don't want to make this too long, but this is the book. Let me get these precepts. This is First Peter. And I'm just going to, you know, go through these, these uh, precepts real quick. Because the point is there. I just wanted to, you know, it was a, it's a saying that came to my mind and it stuck, man. You know, it really stuck. I was thinking about it all night at work. This is First uh, Peter 2 and 17. It says, honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear Yahweh, honor the king. And what's the king? That's Yahweh Shai. Then you have King David. Then you have the 12 under that. So it says what? Love the brotherhood because we're all in this together, man. But we're doing it separately at the same time. All right. We walk in it with simultaneously, but we also walk in it solo. This is Philippians 2 and verse 2. And it says, Fulfill ye my joy that ye be like minded, having the same love, being on, on being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves, man. Because this ain't all about self. Okay? This is all about the, the truth sake and getting the word out of Yah Bashim Yah so the elect can be sealed. That's what we're yearning for and we're pushing for that goal. Because when the elect is sealed and the, and the Lord has, has, has uh, met that quota and the words have come to pass, this thing is done. Esau's done. And here comes the kingdom. There ain't going to be no more hesitation and, and waiting. The Most High wants to establish the kingdom of heaven. You don't think he wants that, that, that glory on the planet Earth? That's coming, man. Yahweh Shah wants his full inheritance. This is Ecclesiastes 4 and 10. It says, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he have not another to help him up. That's why the Lord set up this brotherhood, man. So we can help each other and keep each other in the times of hardship. Okay? It says, again, if two lie, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? All right. So this thing is set up to be more than just one because the hey, the demons can just attack you, man. So you might need a brother or, or, or you might need a help to help. You might need more than one brother, man, a collective brotherhood to help you push through that hard times, man, because we all we, we don't have the, the, the strength of Job. We hope and pray. But hey, man, the, the, the Job had a heavy spirit on. Him. So we have to we have to have helps in this thing, man, through the spirit. All right, and this is a uh, book of First John, four and twenty. This is First John four and verse twenty, and it says, "If I say love, if it says, if a man say I love Yahweh and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love Yahweh whom he has not seen?" And that's simple as that, man. That's why we're 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 being set up in this brotherhood to show love to another. Because, look, we ain't seen Yahweh, but we believed upon him. So how much more, you know, you see your brother in hard times, you help him out, man. Because it's a brotherhood. We're the spiritual musketeers, man. And as the title of the video, man, hey, one for all and all for one, man. So I want to give all praise unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Bashim, Rakar, Hakodash, man. Shalom, Akim, stay strong.